Hi, right, Sonny here again. Uh, last uh, music theory lesson, my first lesson, we talked about um, major scale and uh, how um, all the notes in any major scale, or any key, uh, start from the root note. Uh, you always skip a fret uh, between the between it goes to the second note, uh, except for between third and fourth and seventh and root note. There are no gaps. So if you start from an F scale, F major scale, you start from the first fret of the E string, which is it, uh, F. Second note of F major scale with G. You skip a fret. Third note is an A. Skip a fret again. Uh, remember, between third and fourth, no no skipping. So just half step. So A sharp or B flat is the uh, fourth note of the F major scale. And then uh, fourth and fifth, between the fourth and fifth notes, you skip a fret. All right. So C. And fifth and sixth, C to D, all right, and then from uh, uh, six to seven, skip a fret again to E note, and the seventh back to F. That's uh, no skipping, just half step, so it's next to each other. Back to F. Um, so that's how it is with all major scale. If you start from the G major scale, same thing, whole step, whole step. Uh, whole, whole step, skip a fret, whole step, skip a fret, half step, no, no skipping fret, and you do three more notes with uh, skipping a step, uh, skipping a, a, a fret. So, uh, four to fifth, skip, fifth to sixth, whole step, skip, uh, six to seven, skip, seven to first, no, no skip. All right, so that's the major scale. Uh, now we on, uh, now we're going to move on and talk about intervals. And the only intervals I want to talk about in this lesson is octave. An octave is basically um, uh, the same note, but you play uh, a frequency higher or lower. Uh, so that's uh, that means octave. So basically playing the same note, but you play it higher, uh, which is octave higher, or you play lower, which is octave lower, but you play the same note. Uh, an interval basically means just um, spaced, uh, between two notes. Uh, so for example, uh, open E string, right? open E string, and the octave higher would be this way here, 12th fret. So the exact same note, but just an octave higher. In fact, all your notes on, on the guitar, the 12th fret is the octave higher than the open string. So A, octave higher is 12th fret, is A. There's a D, open D string. A higher D octave higher would be 12th fret of the D string. Alright, and so forth and so forth. Alright, um, so the octave is all, if you go horizontally, uh, octave is always 12th fret higher. So if I play the F note, first fret, 12th fret higher from this would be to 13th fret. So that's an octave. If I play the G, third fret, if you count 12th fret higher, it would be the 15th fret here. Same thing with the C note, if you play the third fret on the C on the A string, 15th fret. It's a uh, uh, 12th fret higher, so that's the octave. Um, now, if you go vertically, one thing about guitar is that uh, you can use the same shape all over the neck. Uh, so the way we do octave is that an octave higher, if you go vertically, is always uh, skip a string, go to the next string, and you move two frets this way. So, for example, if I play A fifth fret on the E string. The octave for that would be if you go down two string, go to the D string, and you move two fret over, it would be the seventh fret of your D string would be octave of A. Alright, and this same position, you can move it up and down. G. The G octave would be the fifth fret of your D string. Again, it's two strings down and move to your right two frets. 
uh, F sharp, same thing. Two straight down, move the frets, uh, move the frets to the right. Two frets will be fourth fret of your D string. And you can play those two notes together. Uh, you can. Uh, what you do is, uh, uh, if you play those two notes together, it sounds like this. Basically, what you can do is use index finger blocking the second string, kind of slightly touching the A string. So when you strum all three strings together, you won't hear the middle string. All you hear is the first string, the G note, and the higher, I'm sorry, the, the F sharp in the low E string, and the fourth fret, which is the F sharp in the higher, uh, out, one, one octave higher. So you string those three, three, uh, three, strung, three strings together. But your A string is being blocked by the flash of your index finger. Uh, same thing if you move down a string, you do octave on a um, same shape on the A string. Now, if you get down to the D string, it's a little different because you have to really think mentally that the high, the B and E string. Is shift one fret higher, uh, one fret over to your right than the top four string. Uh, so if you keep that in mind, the bottom two string is kind of shift one fret, uh, then you will figure this out. So if you play the octave, if you play the, let's just say if you play uh, the G note, which is the fifth fret of the D string, in order to play the octave, yeah, go down two string, just like we talked about. But instead of moving two frets to the right, you gotta move three frets to your right. So I have to play a pinky on the uh, eighth fret of your B string, which is the octave higher. So if you do the shape that we did before, that is not an octave, that is a major seventh. Uh, so again, if you start from the D, uh, D string, you gotta use your pinky. Two string down, three frets to your right. Same thing if you do an octave on the G string. Let's just say if you play uh, fifth fret on the G string, which is a C note. The C note, uh, you gotta play on the high E string, but you gotta use your pinky on eighth fret. Again, it's two string down and three frets over this time, just like you did on a D string. All right. Obviously, on if you go to the B string, there's no octave because you, you can't skip a string to go any higher um, so that's the rule uh, if you play octave for the first two strings it's always this kind of shape if you play the octave from the D and G string you gotta add an extra fret uh, move over one extra fret you can do some uh, funky stuff with the uh, you hear a lot of jazz players you know That's just all octave playing those two notes and kind of blocking the uh, the string in the middle between the two octave notes uh, with the bottom of your flesh with your index finger. Uh, you know, uh, songs like uh, uh, White Snake, you know, uh, Steel of the Night. <laughs> So you know that's an octave. Uh, you know, uh, immigrant song by Led Zeppelin. Same thing. Uh, so many examples of songs using an octave uh, to play that. Uh, you can also hear the beginning of um, the video I just did, "Victim of Changes." You know, the uh, the twelfth fret here. And then basically it's open string of the high E string and the 12th fret of the E string. So that's another way to play octave. You just play those. Uh, uh. Uh, uh, you know, Bach the Moon.
you can do all kinds of stuff with Octave. Octave is very useful. Um, so that should cover all the Octave. Oh, one more thing. Another way you can do Octave. Um, let's just use the um, E seventh fret of your A, for example. Another Octave is that instead of, instead of going two string down, two frets to your right. You can also go four strings down, which is four string down would be the B string, and uh, back two fret to your left instead of to your right. See? That would be the fifth fret of your B string. Same thing on the ninth fret of your G. Same note. Uh, so if you play the seventh fret of your A string of an E here, you have a lower um, E as an octave lower, and you also have the uh, octave higher at the ninth fret of your G string, or the fifth fret of your B string. The way uh, you can use the fifth fret of your B string, you can do something like a blues scale. The last two notes was octave. You play the fifth and back to 7th fret of your um, A. Um, oh, another octave way, another way to play octave is, like I just talked about, the 7th fret. So if you play open E string, you can also play the 7th fret of your A, which is an octave higher. Alright. Um, if you play the open A string, Besides playing the 12th fret of your A string, you can also play the 7th fret of your D string. Now on the G string is a little, little, little strange because like I say, remember, the last two strings you gotta move one fret, you gotta think of them as one fret over to your right. So if you play the open G string, the octave note is the 12th fret of your G string, but you also have the, instead of 7th fret, you have the 8th fret of your B string, also, also the octave. So before all the strings were seventh fret, but now this uh, when you once you get down to the B string, you gotta move one fret over, which is F eighth fret. So uh, a lot of songs use that too as well. I mean, like um, we were talking about "Steel of the Night." One part of "Steel of the Night" goes like this. Something like that. So that's that's another way to play octave. So it's very useful. It's a good way to understand octave. It's just trying to play uh, around. Remember all the notes. Which one is higher? Octave higher, octave lower. Uh, that will get you to remember those notes just by pattern itself. So. 